Hey, new home sales peeps. Are you being asked about prospecting for new clients? You remember prospecting, don't you? It's what we do in a normal market. And on today's five minute sales training, we're looking at the three R's of new home sales, repeat customers, referrals, and realtors. <laughs> Hey, thanks for tuning in to another five minute sales trading. Today we're talking about the three R's of new home sales, repeat customers, referrals, and realtors. Be sure to like and subscribe this channel if you're enjoying this, it takes just a second. All right, new home sales people, suddenly we're having to talk about the subject of prospecting. Now this is a subject that we talk about a great deal in normal markets, but let's face it, it's been a hot minute since we've seen a normal market. This is not normal. <laughs> Now I have plenty of clients who are asking me about prospecting skills and pointing out that their salespeople are simply not prepared to do the prospecting that's going to be necessary in the market to come. Now that conversation starts with who you are prospecting to. To who you are prospecting, to whom are you, to our, our pro, whom? The people you're prospecting to. There's a whole wide world of people that you can talk to about purchasing one of your homes. But I suggest that you start by talking to those people who are most likely to purchase. I have a limited amount of time in which to prospect. I don't want to use that time talking to people who are highly unlikely to buy. Now, to my thinking, I believe we should focus on three areas, the three R's, if you will, repeat visitors, referrals and realtors. Let's start with repeat visitors. Sometimes people visit a sales office. They might very well fall in love with a home, but the timing just isn't right. It has nothing to do with the home or with their appreciation of the home. It simply means that this is not a good time for them to purchase. And then they walk away to quote, think about it. Let me think about it. The problem with walking away is that they become detached from their initial emotional impulse. They just sort of forget that they were so in love with the home that you were selling. Wait, who are you again? So the aim of repeat visitor prospecting is to reignite the very emotion that stirred in that customer's heart when they saw the home in the first place. Now that's why taking good notes about your customer is so important. You are taking good notes, aren't you? And when I say good notes, I don't simply mean that they want three bedrooms and 2,500 square feet. What I mean is, what were they in love with? What struck them as something that would truly enhance their life? When you're reaching out to repeat visitors, this is the opportunity to reconnect to the emotion and to talk about the home and about their life in emotional terms. All right, let's talk about referrals. Referrals are the best source of sales and the easiest if you're taking good care of your customers. Elated customers are prone to send a large number of new prospects to your community in the first year after they moved in. But it's better than that because those people who are being referred are far more likely to have a good experience themselves. They walk through the door with a smile on their face. They've already been preconditioned to want to like your community. I cannot speak highly enough of the value of referrals. Now, that means two things. First, you have to make sure that you are delivering stellar service to your customers so that they are inclined to refer to you in the first place. But it also means that you have to consistently nudge your customer. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> You have to nudge your customer to want to send you those referrals and to make positive comments to friends and family members. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. And finally, let's talk about realtors. Let's face it, realtors have buyers, at least the good ones do. Now, some new home salespeople take the tactic of talking to as many realtors as they possibly can. I prefer more of a targeted approach. By that, I mean targeting individual high-performance realtors. World's greatest realtor. I recommend that you identify a number of higher producing realtors and then play the long game. This isn't about the one home that you have for sale today. It's about all of the future sales that your high-performing realtors will be able to bring you down the road. Your best realtor relationships come from people who trust you and whom you trust. So let me just close with this. 
How committed are you to owning your own prospecting efforts and making sure that you are constantly driving self-directed traffic to your community? This is when we have the best chance to excel, even in a slower market. Hey, thanks for watching. And until next time, learn more to earn more.